All right, number four, which fraction belongs in the box? So I see that we're dealing with a number line. And the first thing you need to do when working with a number line, um, and there's fractional parts, is you need to figure out what or how many equal parts is the number line divided into. So what do I do? What's my first step? Go ahead. Count the spaces in between. In between what? Say it again. Yes, but am I going to start at the beginning of the number line and just count all the equal spaces it's divided into from the beginning to the end? So you just go between two whole numbers. It could happen between, you could count between one and two. You could count between three and four. You could count between two and three. Okay? One strategy I shared with another student was that um, not only did we mark the whole numbers, but we made a start line and a stop line. Because sometimes what we were noticing is, you know how there's that halfway mark where there's the line that looks a little bit bigger on the halfway mark? They stop at the halfway mark. That's not between two whole numbers. So one strategy you might want to use is draw a start line and a stop line, so your brain knows when to start and stop counting. So let's count the equal spaces it's divided into between two and three. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. It's divided into five equal spaces, and so we know that this number line is divided into fifths. I would even write that over to the side, because what that tells me is that... Um, that my denominator for all the problems on this, or all the numbers on this number line are going to have a five as a denominator, okay? So I know that I'm going to be using a mixed number because those are my answer choices. So let me erase this so we can actually see. It's going to be two and something, right? So if this is two, this tick mark would be two and this, look where I'm pointing, two and one fifth, two and two and two and then it would start over. We go to three, three and three and three and three fifths, three and four fifths. Okay, so the answer choice you clearly already said was two and two fifths okay but when you're when you're using a number line it's important to make sure you know how many equal spaces it's divided into